Dear friends, two and a half years ago, Bishop Philip asked the Fraternity of St. Charles Borromeo to come here and to take care of St. Sweden Wells Parish. That's why we are here, Father Marco, Father Luca and I. During this time, we have met many people and made many friends. I would like to start this video by speaking about our vision, the vision of our parish. As you probably know, loneliness is very common in our society. Many newspapers say that loneliness is the most pressing issue of modern times. People are alone because they don't have friends. But also people are alone because they don't know the meaning of their lives. They feel that they don't have a purpose in life. People are alone because nobody loves them and because they don't have someone to love. People are alone because they don't have a community and they don't know God. Having said that our vision wants to address this issue. We want to offer everybody a place that defeats loneliness. A place where it is possible to meet a Christian community and a place where it is possible to meet God. Our parish of St. Sweden Wells wants to be this place for all, for our young people, for our adults, and for our elderly. To do so, we need our churches, which are spaces where people can have a true encounter with the Lord, where people worship together the Lord. It is important to have a space totally dedicated to the Lord just for Mass and prayer. At the same time, we need our parish centers and halls. The activities we run there help us to realize that God is present in all the aspects of human existence, eating, playing, culture, charity, and so on. And this is the aim of this video to tell you that we have the idea of building a new Paris Center. One that would give us more space to run and expand our parish activities. Dear friends, the new center will have a considerable cost. At the moment, due to the lands that were sold in our parish, we believe we should have enough money to afford such a project. To conclude, I would like to say that we have the name for this center. We would like to call it Frassati Center. Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati is one of the patrons of our diocese and an inspiring example for our youth. Having discussed this proposal with Bishop Philip, he was enthusiastic about the center and about the name. Over the next few weeks, I encourage all of you to think about this new and exciting idea.